Okay, I'm RSGM123, and this is my redstone router. This is the part where you send the data. It can be anywhere on here, but to make it easy, I just put it right here. And I only made one of them. But you can have one per each computer. These are the computers where this is the computer. It's a simple bank of memory cells. Um, okay. This is the address matcher. It matches the computer's address, which is here, and it's you have to manually change it. I will work on that, but um. And this is the part where it collects it. Okay. The. Alright. This is the address part. And this is the packet of data. And the red wall is the. Some people call it a register. I like to call it a. Um, uh, let's see, a serial transmitter, translator. It translates bits of data into, or data into bit by bit to send it down the redstone line. Um, let's see, alright. I made this so it to send data between computers in Minecraft and I made it to be extremely fast although it does depend upon how far away you are from the um, person trying to send you data alright so it comes down the line after each one by one sends it bit by bit comes down it activates this which there's a delay it lets the address get to the very end and it each piston fires off at the same time for one tick and collects the signal into these memory cells I'll show you how I make my memory cells in a second. But right now, as soon as the addresses match, it opens up this piston, allowing the signal to tra travel right here and down. And this is the same thing. It sends a pulse right here, telling it to fire off these pistons. But it waits until it gets to the very end before it goes, so it can collect the data. Um, okay. So this is the packet of data it sends. This one doesn't have a lever on it because it's the start pulse, so it lets the next one, so it can so the next one can be off, otherwise it would have to be on. And this is 8 bits long, not including the starting pulse, so it's enough to send one letter in binary. Same thing with this, it's the address part, it's 8 bits long, not including the starting pulse. Um, right here I don't have a repeater because the redstone wire wasn't was too long and I had to put one right here so I took one out of there this is the button you press to start the pulse or to start to send it it comes right here it splits into two it waits until the first 
the address part is finished sending before it sends the packet of data. Um, okay, and this green line, no, all the green wires are green wall, is for resetting. It resets all the memory cells in the addresses. And then you have to come over here to reset them in the computer. That way you can send one packet of data to a computer, reset the addresses, and it's ready to send again. I haven't calculated I haven't calculated how fast it can send yet because well yeah I haven't calculated how fast it can send yet but as soon as I do I will put into the comments this is just a little QR code thing that says it's made by me um this is a delay so I can see exactly what happens when it sends. So I'll start that now. But first, let's see. I'm sending it to... Alright, right here, you have to read the binary like this. But on this side, for the data, you have to read it like this. Starts here, sends first one, second, third. Starts there, first, second, third, whatever. So I'm going to send it to computer one. And I'm going to send, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. I'll press this. And it is fast, so I had to put a delay on it. It recognizes that it's the first computer on the network, so because I told it it was. And then when it receives the address, it matches it and allows a pulse to go through here. Now this is just extra wire, because I might have been able to make another one on this line. But, and then, so the pulse comes through here, gets the ends, these all fire off. And now it shows up on the display. Yeah. Something's wrong. Hmm. Let me see something. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Reset it. Come over here, reset the line or the memo. Oh, crap. a second. I had to do that because I can't have it thunderstorm because this is made out of all wool. Okay, and it's not a bucket server. Okay, so first computer comes through here. Huh. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I must have read it backwards. Okay. Yeah. So that works. You have to read the addresses over here. This way. Otherwise it will be backwards. And opposite of that on the other side. For the computers over there. And you read the binary this... Just normally on this black wall. Like 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 16s, 32s, 64s, and 128s. And since it's all connected to the same wire, you have to reset every single address, which I do with the green wall. After.
All right. And it resets all the addresses. Let me see. Let's send this to computer two. Okay. See what happens. Boom. Computer two, and it received. Oh, that's weird. Shouldn't be doing that. Oh, duh. I forgot to copy everything, because this has that. All right, this is adding too much delay onto these, so I fixed that, I hope. And let's try sending that packet then. Okay, I'll hit that. I'll hit that and go. This is computer two, that's three, that's four over there. Let's see. Yep. Um. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. I guess I must. Must have accidentally flipped. Didn't flip one or something. But it sent the right packet. Z one zero. Oops. One zero one zero zero one zero one. And the packet over here was skip the first one one zero one zero zero one zero one. Okay. I'll just go over here, reset that. Um so these can be used for much bigger computers, much more powerful, to send information between them. And it sends it really fast. So, yeah, let's see. Now, over here, when you want to tell it a address as the sun this is the eighth computer oh okay one two four eight so you have you have to read it from here because it's just mirrored of the other side when you read it like this it will be backwards because it goes 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 62, 7, 8, 32, 32, 64, 128. Um, yeah, I have a line that goes down all the way to the end. That's just another one of the, it's the same thing as over there. Um, there are eight computers on this network. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's the um, input, which I said, as I said, you can have more than one input, and they can be anywhere you want. Um,. Yeah, that's pretty much it. These are and or XOR gates. XOR gates. Um oh yeah, my memory cells. I make I use this as a memory cell. Block there, and then you just remove the block with the piston to reset it. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'll have 
a link in the description to the schematic file. And... Um, yeah. Alright. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you.